week will mark a century since the beginning of the Negro Leagues. It's a history so important to our country, and Kansas City plays a pivotal role in that history. That is why we will be telling you stories all week and new this morning. Soon you'll see a logo designed in KC with and for the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum all over. February 13, 1920, Negro Leagues Baseball was born in Kansas City. One of the original teams, the amazing Kansas City Monarchs, with stars like Satchel Paige and Buck O'Neill. You know, when I tell people they had one losing season in their almost 40-year existence in the Negro Leagues, I don't even know if that registers. 100 years later, teams and organizations across the country want to use this logo to commemorate the history of the Negro Leagues. It's been gratifying to see how many organizations, sports teams that want to use the symbol as part of their centennial celebration. So we hope that you'll see this thing plastered everywhere. In North Carolina this month, both teams will sport a patch on their uniform when University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill takes on North Carolina A&T State University, the country's largest historically black university. There weren't any teams in the Negro Baseball League from North Carolina, but oh my goodness, there were a ton of players from North Carolina who played in that league. Just a patch, but it's huge. It's huge because it speaks to the significance of what these leagues represented. And they're all tremendous players. I mean, so we want to honor that part of history. And Kendrick says in the coming weeks, you will be able to buy items with that Centennial Celebration logo to keep the story of the Negro Leagues alive. I think it's going to create further dialogue about it, and it's going to generate even greater interest in the story, in the legendary players. And, and the Negro Leagues Museum will be right there in the front and center of it all. Wow. So he was hoping they would have memorabilia with that patch for you to buy now. Yeah. The coronavirus slowed production out wow. of China of the patches. So he says they are hoping that'll be around uh, hopefully by April and go buy all the stuff with the logo on that because that'll also help um, proceeds for the museum Absolutely. to keep operating. And you said February 13th that was the actual anniversary. So like yes. you said, all week long we'll have stories throughout our newscast morning and evening for that. Absolutely. All right.